I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber Ria. The question here is a plane left Toronto to Miami traveling at 400 km per hour. At the same time another plane left Miami to Toronto traveling at 500 km per hour. If the distance between Miami and Toronto is 2000 km when will the two plane pass each other? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let's make a small sketch here. Let us say that the two planes are traveling along a path Toronto to Miami which is 2000 kilometers. Now whenever they meet, the train, the plane which is faster will travel more distance. So the plane which moves from Toronto is going at the rate of 400 kilometers per hour. So let's say this one is going at 400 kilometers per hour and from Miami it's coming at 500 kilometers per hour. Let us assume that they meet somewhere here. So at this time both would have traveled for the same time right both would have traveled for the same time so at time t they meet let us say right how much distance would they cover in this time t we could always find distance with the help of this triangle which relates distance, speed and time. Distance is speed into time, right? So the relation between distance, speed and time is that distance is speed into time. Now since speed of the plane from Toronto is 400, it will cover a distance of 400 T. So this distance will be 400 T. The distance covered by the plane flying from Miami will be 500 T. Right? 500 is the speed and T is the time. And the total distance has to be how much? 2000. The distance between Toronto and Miami. Correct? So that makes our equation. Since distance is speed into time, now we can say 400 T the distance traveled by the plane from Toronto plus 500 T the distance traveled by the plane from Miami should be equal to total distance of 2000. So that forms the equation. This equation is a single variable. We can easily solve it. Right? 400 T plus 500 T is 900 T which should be equal to 2000. T will be 2000 divided by 900 correct so let's take the calculator do the calculation so we get 2000 divided by 900 that gives us 20 over 9 we can convert this to decimals also right let me first write this as 20 over 9 right so 20 over 9 is in hours 20 over 9 is in hours. We can write this in hours and minutes. 20 divided by 9 is 2. So 2 hours and the remainder is 2. So we get 2, point, 2 hours and 2 over 9 hours, right? We could convert this to minutes. We could convert this to minutes, right? So, so we could say or you could say 20 divided by 9 in decimals you could write 2.2 recurring do you see that that is 2 divided by 9 now to convert that to hours we should multiply 2 divided by 9 by 60 so let me say 2 times 60 divided by 9 equals to approximately 13.3 minutes so we could write this as 2 hours and 13 minutes now how did we get 13 minutes 2 over 9 hours is equal to 
will multiply by 60 minutes and divide by one hour, right? One hour has 60 minutes. So hour, hour cancels and you get time in minutes. So it is basically, let's redo it. Two times 60 divided by nine in decimals, 13.33, which I've written as 13 minutes. So that means when will the two planes cross each other? We could give time for that. And the time will be after two hours and 13 minutes. You could also say what distance will it be where they meet from Toronto, for example, by substituting this time 20 over 9 for T, right? So you could also calculate that. So let me write down the answer here. Answer is after 2 hours 13 minutes, they will cross or pass each other. Now, as an added exercise, what you can see, uh, find is, find distance from Toronto. It will be, the answer will be 400 times, you could use 20 over 9, 20 over 9, right? So, those many kilometers, that will be your answer from Toronto, the distance will be around that much at that time. But when you say when, it means really time. So the time will be 2 hours 13 minutes. I hope that helps you to understand the solution. Feel free to post your suggestions. Thanks for watching. All the best.